Welcome back, everyone. Next up, we have Avalon Advanced Materials, Inc. It trades on the OTCQB under the symbol AVLNF and on the TSX under the symbol AVL and is a Canadian mineral development company specializing in sustainably produced materials for clean technology. The company now has four advanced stage projects, providing investors with exposure to lithium, tin and indium, as well as rare earth elements, tantalum, cesium, and zirconium. Avalon is currently focused on developing its Separation Rapids Lithium Project near Kenora, Ontario, while continuing to advance its other projects, including its 100% owned lily pad cesium tantalum lithium project located near Fort Hope, Ontario. Please welcome its president, Zishan Syed. Nice to see you, Zishan. Welcome. Thank you, Anna. Good to see you too. All right, the floor is yours and call me back when you are ready for questions. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much. Uh, it's an exciting time for Avalon and I wanted to uh, take a few minutes just to give uh, a few highlights on what we're up to. Um, and I'll, I'll keep it very short. There's three essential main buckets of activity on our end. Uh, number one, we're going through a process, uh, a, a bit of a corporate restructure, if you will. Uh, we are in the process of recruiting an execution-focused team of professionals at the corporate and board level. Uh, we've also taken a keen eye on kind of recasting our mandate and corporate strategy. Avalon, as uh, Anna mentioned, has been a, a leader in Canada with the broad portfolio of assets, but uh, we've recently taken the decision to be a very lithium-focused entity. So uh, it's interesting times at Avalon for sure. It's akin uh, to us uh, doing an oil change of a car moving down the freeway. So a toward pace of activity in the sector, but that's something that's top of mind for me right now. The second piece I'd like to highlight is our accelerated growth uh, within the lithium portfolio. So uh, Separation Rapids is our flagship asset, but we've also got other claims in the region. Uh, Separation Rapids sits in uh, Northwestern Ontario which uh, is very rich in lithium pegmatites. We've got a few other claims there and we're looking forward to uh, a drill program at uh, some other properties called Snowbank. Uh, in addition, we've just completed a drill program at Separation Rapids. The preliminary data looks very good and uh, we'll soon be having a mineral resource estimate to share with the public. Uh, and third, I would say really is about our growth and commercial strategy. Of course, with the upswing in activity and interest in the lithium space, uh, there's all manner of discussions we're having now with uh, a lot of usual suspects, obviously in the auto sector, but also in uh, the glass and ceramics industry. That's one key differentiator uh, for Avalon and a strategic advantage we have in the market uh, is our form of lithium is petalite, a very rare form of lithium that's used quite extensively in the growing glass and ceramics industry. So. We're knee deep in some really exciting discussions and uh, look forward over the coming months as we retool Avalon 2.0 and meet the macro opportunities we have really to hit the market uh, with a fresh new story. Thank you very much. Pardon me, I had a little hiccup over here. Okay, let's jump right in. So. Talking about the adequate funding, we have a question from Cameron Ross. When will Avalon move forward with the purchase of the Thunder Bay property for the processing plant? Yeah, it's a good question from Cameron. Uh, one of the challenges we've had uh, with that specific property has to do with some issues on title. Uh, and the vendor has been very kind. He's been working diligently through that process and we're just at the finish line there. So we're hopeful that uh, that's free and clean uh, and uh, we can move forward on that transaction in the short term. And Ruben Clark says, you're exposed to many elements. Can you give a timeline for each to production? And what is the closest? Yeah, as I mentioned, uh, Ruben, our, our real interest now is in our lithium assets. Uh, we're a lithium focused company. And uh, the primary sort of objective for us is to move our flagship separation rapids uh, property into production. We've got a very robust plan for exactly that. And uh, in that region, we've got some other plans for drilling, uh, as I mentioned, uh, for that petalite reserve. 
and also at Pickle Lake, near Pickle Lake in Ontario, uh, we've got LilyPad, another very exciting potential opportunity for us, and that's a spodumene deposit. So we've got a winter program that we're anticipating to start there, uh, of course, subject to financing. But uh, it, as a whole, taken together, uh, the growth of our entire lithium portfolio is our key priority for this year. And Alyssa Warren asks, how's the search for professionals going? Any issues with supply? Yeah, well, there are, there are on the technical side, uh, uh, geologists and metallurgists and all the key uh, people you need on the ground that, that uh, no doubt is a challenge. Uh, I, I would suspect uh, my peers and my colleagues would echo that sentiment across uh, the board. Uh, but at the corporate level, one of the things that we're really trying to do now is to have the right corporate thinking uh, at, the, at the very top. Uh, we have a very ambitious program, and as I mentioned, we're execution-focused. So there's a certain view and a vision that I have uh, and that our board now shares, and so we'll be looking uh, very quickly, very rapidly uh, over the course of the summer, really, to uh, strengthen the bench at the management at the board level. Perfect. Cameron Ross wants to know, is there scope to begin extracting pedalite from the separation rapid site sooner to get cash flow from glass companies? Yeah, absolutely. There is a huge opportunity there. We're uh, <clears throat> in discussions with one of the biggest companies in the world uh, for exactly that purpose. So we've got a, different machinations of what a potential collaboration could look like. So that uh, process is, uh, is going for sure. But uh, it's a good point by Cameron. Uh, the glass ceramics presents uh, a near-term revenue opportunity for Avalon. So as we stagger uh, and look at the entire financial and production model, getting separation rapids up and running, getting that glass and ceramic partner on board with the sale of that concentrate, uh, and then staggering the uh, our uh, midstream aspirations of that lithium refinery down the road. It really makes for a very strong uh, game plan that we have uh, as we go forward here. And can you mention some of those potential partners for the glass ceramics companies? Jason Jardim wants to know. Yeah, no, we can't. We're under NDA, of course. Uh, we can't disclose names, but uh, we're, we're deep in those discussions. Uh, I, had a, I had a good call uh, just this morning uh, with them. So we, we, we have a very uh, robust timeline. Uh, I think I mentioned earlier this week, we had a, a news release outlining uh, our strategy for the year. Uh, there, there are many other kind of components to that. One for sure is on the glass ceramics side, and uh, that conversation is moving very well. Vinny Curtis wants to know, how are you currently funded when you say adequate, and how long will that take you before you need another raise? Well, we're actually looking to close uh, one of our uh, negotiations uh, we're having to get some uh, near-term capital in. Uh, there is opportunity for flow through financing as well. We use that for our drill program uh, that we just concluded at Separation Rapids. Uh, we continue to have uh, more opportunity there. But uh, for the short term, we're okay. Uh, we are in discussions with some major institutional investors as well who are tracking our story. Uh, the fact that Avalon uh, is uh, at the stage to initiate a definitive feasibility study in separation rapids uh, is of interest to them for sure. As we look at the tight supply in the market and we look at the timelines that some of the downstream players have. So we've got some very strong discussions underway and hence the reason why we are looking for added bench strength. Uh, to have the right team to uh, go through that process. Perfect. Uh, Hugo wants to know, who else is in the lithium region that is producing? Uh, I don't know if anybody is producing, quite frankly. Uh, I don't want to say that with certainty, but uh, near, near certainty. I don't think anyone is producing at all. Uh, there are other players in Ontario, for sure. Ontario is rich, as I mentioned, with lithium pegmatites. So uh, there are companies in, in Quebec and Ontario, for sure. But I think uh, the main point in uh, what the gentleman is, is getting at is that there is sizable downstream demand. Uh, of course, you heard about Volkswagen uh, and uh, the slow dance with LG and Stellantis that's been in the news. Uh, you know, it's, it's part and parcel. You can imagine if an LG and Stellantis are having these types of challenges, uh, you can imagine a company, company like Avalon as well. So this sector is taking off like a rocket. Uh, there's a lot uh, of shaping that's going on. There's a lot of understanding. A lot of the downstream players are just now trying to make sense of what that upstream and midstream picture looks like. And conversely, upstream players like Avalon uh, dabbling in that midstream and downstream play. So 
it all goes to show how a sector that takes off comes with challenges, but of course, uh, as we all know, tremendously more opportunities. Greg Douglas wants to know, what's a realistic timeline to revenue? Well, I think uh, the answer to that lies with our glass ceramic industry. That's a much uh, simpler process and uh, a very deliberate plan that we've made uh, in, near, in the near term before we do uh, get our uh, refinery process in, uh, in, you know, up and running. But uh, the timeline that we've shared publicly is uh, Q1, Q4 2025 or Q1 2026 is when we will be uh, producing concentrates for sale to the market. And uh, that's uh, certainly our priority at the moment. I'm going to combine a couple of questions from Sly and Nick. What is the next milestones that investors should be on the lookout for? Yeah, well, the milestones that we have uh, right in front and center, I mentioned our, our sort of corporate internal restructure, uh, that's paramount. Avalon 2.0 is, is here. Uh, besides myself, there will be other people that uh, p the public will be seeing and hearing from uh, as we look to bolster our team. Number two is our mineral resource estimate at Separation Rapids. Uh, 8.9 million tons of lithium is what we have measured and inferred. That picture is set to uh, change in a positive way. Uh, we just completed our drill program, as I mentioned. We've got some uh, samples and some results coming in, which we will be releasing soon. And it really sets the stage for us to start that definitive feasibility process and certainly uh, bolsters the case to do a deeper drill program at Separation Rapids. So again, as I mentioned, it's all about us moving our lithium portfolio forward. We have our foot to the pedal now, and we've got a big uh, brick tied to that foot. So there's no stopping uh, our forward progress there. Wonderful. Well, thank you for this update, Zeeshan, and we'd love for you to come back in the near future for some more. Happy to do that. Good to see you, Anna. All right. Nice to see you as well. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Okay, everyone stay with us. We'll be right back with our next presenter.